or look for one. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Baldwin County Homeschool Expo, and we've got Ashley here from Coastal Alabama Community College, and they work with homeschoolers, and she's got some really cool things to talk to us about, so I'll go ahead and pass it over to you. All right. Hey, you guys. I'm Ashley. Like she said, I'm a recruiter for Coastal Alabama Community College. Um, I'm really just going to hit on three points today for you guys, so I'm really going to talk about what Coastal is. If you've not heard of it, you know, you'll get a little bit more information about that. And then we'll talk about why should you even choose community college? There's a lot of options out there for you. Um, and we'll just kind of discuss why community colleges is a really good route to go. And then we're going to talk about a little bit of opportunities for you guys in high school. Um, and that'll be my last point for you. And then if you have any questions, feel free to ask throughout the um, throughout the broadcast, or you can always call me or email after. Um, Stephanie has my contact information, and that's something we can put on there as well. Um, so what is Coastal Alabama? So we are a community college located in South Alabama. We actually used to be Faulkner State, Jeff Davis, and Alabama Southern. So if you've heard of those, you've heard of Coastal because we merged and made one. Um, so all of those campuses that were in those three colleges came together um, and now every single one of them is Coastal Alabama. We've got campuses from Gilbert Town on the Mississippi line down to Florida in Bruton and Atmore. Um, we've got Baymanet, which is our main campus, Monroeville, Thomasville, um, Fairhope, Gulf Shores. We are all over the place and we also offer online. So there are many options for you wherever you are located at. Um, we have dorms um, as well on the Baymanette and the Bruton campuses. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can go up the street to your local coastal or you can come stay on one of our campuses. We'd love to have you. Um, one of the things that is great about Coastal is we have the lowest tuition in the state of Alabama. We're $160 per credit hour, and that is something that um, you just multiply it by how many credit hours in a class. Most of the time, your classes are going to be three to four credit hours. So it's a very affordable option, but there are also scholarships and there's also financial aid. So when you get into your senior year, you really need to be looking at your ACT and your GPA to be able to qualify for these scholarships. And then you also want to make sure that you fill out your FAFSA, which is not just for Coastal. You're going to fill that out for any college that you go to. And that's where you find out if you qualify for grants or if you qualify to take out loans through that. So we're going to shoot for scholarships and grants. And then if you have to, you can take out some loans. But with our tuition, it's extremely affordable. Most of the time, if you qualify for a full Pell Grant, that's going to cover your tuition at Coastal. Um, we, like I said, we have nine campuses that you can actually come on to. And then we have online classes this fall that is actually expanding. <laughs> we're offering more online classes because we're doing online and hybrid courses throughout the fall um, and then reevaluate for the spring. But that's opening up more opportunities for you to learn at home where you're at or where you're comfortable if you're not you know, as comfortable coming onto a campus. So many options there. Um, community colleges in general offer two types of tracks. Um, so we have what we call your technical track and then we have your academic track. Um, at Coastal we have many different majors that you can um, choose to do. You can do technical which means you're going to come, you're going to take your classes, and then you're going to go straight to work. You're ready to get into the workforce, start making that money, um, and that's what your technical tracks are going to get to you. So a few examples of that would be welding, Nursing can be a technical track, EMTs, surgical tech, um, ENI, maintenance, stuff like that's going to be along the lines of your technical track. And like I said, that's going to be more if you're just ready to get out there and start making some money after college. Um, your academic track, which is going to be where most of the students go. Um, that graduate from high school, you're going to come to Coastal, you're going to take two years of what most people call basic courses. So they're going to be your prerequisites for what your intended major is if you're transferring to university. Um, a perk of the academic track, taking out a community college, 
sorry, there's a bug. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> um, a perk of doing that is you're not going to pay as much money and you're going to get the same experience in a smaller class size, but I'll kind of hit on that a little later. But your academic tracks, we use the STARS agreement, which is by law, any public four-year institution has to accept any of your academic courses that you take with us. So that English class that you would take at another four-year institution, you can come take at Coastal for less money and it's going to transfer. And that's one thing I know in the past community colleges, you've kind of had to worry about that but not with the STARS agreement. So that's something you want to check out if you're planning on doing the academic track to kind of make sure that you're transferring into the right area and that it all goes smoothly. Um, so those are kind of your two tracks. Uh, you've got so many options that uh, it can be overwhelming and that's part of why you kind of want to come to a community college if you're not, especially if you're not sure what you want to major and that gives you a little bit of a feel of where you might want to end up. Um, with that being said, there's so, like I said, there's so many majors and I do want to make a point just real quick. If you look at our list of majors and you don't see exactly what you want to do, don't stress out because more than likely we still have that, especially if you're in an academic field. Um, say you want to be a doctor, but we don't have a associates of doctor, you know, like anything like that, we're going to be your first two years of basics for pretty much any four year degree that you can get. So that's something if you have any questions and um, you can talk to Miss Stephanie, you can talk to me, any of our advisors, we'd be able to help you with that. So don't that's something I like to make a point of. Just don't stress if you don't exactly see your major. It doesn't mean we don't offer it. Um, your ICT and your GPA in high school is very important. It's going to be where you, not just with Coastal, but with any college where you get your scholarships from. It's going to be where your placement comes from. So if you are a freshman or even in eighth grade, um, start, you know, doing ACT prep, start working on that GPA. Don't just say, oh, it's no big deal if I don't graduate with honors or it's no big deal if I don't make that high on my ACT. You know, really try to do your best in those areas because that's where your scholarships are going to come from. Um, and who doesn't love a little bit of free money? So if your parents will definitely be thankful <laughs> if you can kind of work on that as well. Um, but also that's also where financial aid comes in. So you want to make sure that um, you fill that out your senior year. And that's going to be something you're going to hear so many times you're going to be sick of. <laughs> um, so that's a little bit about Coastal, what we offer. Um, I can answer any questions that you may have. And if I can't, I know people who can. So that's a little bit about Coastal. We'll kind of transition into you. Why even come to a community college? You've got tons of options. Your junior and senior year, you're going to be bombarded with all the opportunities that you have, um, which is awesome, but it also can be kind of stressful. So one, don't stress out. <laughs> Um, it's okay <laughs> to not know what you're going to do, but with a community college, there's so many perks to that. Um, one, if you don't know what you're going to do, <laughs> you have a chance to kind of get that start to kind of see what you're interested in and you're not wasting money. You're not spending thousands of dollars on classes that you may end up not even using. Um, when you come to Coastal, you're going to start off with your basics, your Englishes, your maths, your um, music or art appreciations. You're going to start off with those and those you're going to need for any four year degree. There's not going to be many that you don't need those core classes for. So go ahead and get your foot in the door. Start doing some internships, start doing some shadowing, kind of learning where you want to be. Um, with the technical programs, I know a lot of our industries partner with us. Um, they do internships within our program. So that I know there's one right now that students are going to work a couple of days a week. They're going to class a couple of days a week. Their tuition is paid for. Their books are paid for and they're getting paid for working. So they're making money while they're going into these programs and they're guaranteed a job when they get out of them. So that's something that if you're interested in any kind of industry job, make sure to look for those avenues and those opportunities. But there's also a lot of good coming out of our nursing program. We have um, actually the number one nursing program in the state of Alabama. So we're kind of proud of that. Um, 
our students come out prepared. It's a any kind of nursing is going to be tough. So it's a tough program, but you know what you need to know when you come out and you're actually more valued in the medical community coming out of coastal because we have a pretty good reputation for that. Um, so it kind of gives you those feelers if you're not sure what you want to do. Say you are sure what you want to do. Say you're exactly sure what you want to be when you grow up. Um, save that money. <laughs> Come to a community college. Get those basic core classes. Like I said earlier, we have smaller class sizes, so our ratio is 22 students to one instructor. Um, I graduated from high school with 70 students. I had about 20, 25 students in my class individually. So coming to a community college was a really good transition for me. I had that one on one time with my instructor. They were able to be intentional with um, conversations. They were able to kind of help in areas that may need helping. Um, you know, they see you. So that's something that's a big perk of a community college, especially with Coastal, we're very proud um, to be able to offer that kind of assistance to our students in those settings. Um, you have the opportunity to be closer to home. You can even be at home and do some of these courses. Um, a lot of our students this fall are at home, um, like a lot of you probably are. So that's something that you have the opportunity to do. You can live on campus. You can still get that college experience by not spending that much money you can still, you know, get together with other students and learn um, how that works. And then you're a little bit more prepared to transition to a bigger college, to a larger class size. You know, you've kind of taken those steps and you're ready. Um, and then, like I said earlier, you've got so many degrees to choose from. You can do your technical, you can do your academic, you can when you transfer, you're going to be prepared. You're going to be ready to take on those higher level courses. Um, and then you're not going to be so stressed out about being in debt from taking those courses as well. And I know I keep stressing the money part, but I mean, let's just be honest. We all could <laughs> um, use something that's a little bit less expensive. So um, just taking those routes, trying to save you some money in the long run. But also just want to let you know that you're not getting any less of an academic experience from coming to a community college. Don't listen to those stigmas. Don't listen to those, you know, bananas. you know, you're getting that good, solid education from Coastal that you would get from any other college just at a less expensive price. Um, my last point that I want to hit on is for you high schoolers, you guys are, who aren't, graduating or you know you're still in high school but you're like man I really I wish I was in a college course I wish I could get some of that college experience we actually have some opportunities for you in that um, so we have what we call accelerated programs which is where you in high school can come to college and take some college courses um, or you can do them online that's an option as well and get those college credits while you're in high school. It's a really good opportunity. It's something I wish I would have had in high school. Um, just something to get you that head start. Like I said, especially if you're sure what you want to do or even if you're not sure, um, but you know you want to get some kind of four year degree, go ahead and knock out those Englishes, knock out those maths that you can. Um, so you're saving money in the long run and you're able to you know, get done a little faster, get, get into that workforce, get that experience that you're going to need. Um, so the accelerated programs, you can find out more information about that on our website, coastalabama.edu. If you go to admissions and then go to high school programs, it's going to be under that. So um, if you have completed 10th grade with a 2.5 GPA, you're eligible for this. So make sure that you all of the paperwork and all that you need to turn in is listed in that website um, on that page. And that's something that you have the opportunity to do. Once again, if you've completed 10th grade with a 2.5 GPA, um, you can have the option to do in-class classes or online. So you've got some leniency there that you can do what you're comfortable with. Um, this, the cost for that's going to actually be the same tuition that any of our other students pay. It's $160 per credit hour. So most of your classes are going to be three to four credit hours. Um, and that's just going to be what you pay. Now, I know that there are some grants for that. Um, and that is also located on the accelerated webpage. Um, it's called PACT. 
So make sure to look into that. Once again, if we can save some money, let's do it. Um, let's put in that little bit of extra effort to do it. So um, that's an opportunity for you in high school, which I think is an awesome opportunity. So if you have any questions, feel free to get with Miss Stephanie or get with me and we'll you know, do our best to get you set up in that. Um, I think that's all that I had. If anybody has any questions or awesome. anything yeah. like that, I'm ready. Well, definitely um, after the video is done, I'll post in the comments um, the website. And do you want me to put your email address in there as well? Yeah, or yeah definitely. Okay. definitely. And then you guys can, uh, I don't see any live comments, but definitely um, if you guys are watching this after it streamed live, comment on there and I will get everything to Ashley. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, this is exciting. And, and you know, speaking of stigma, you kind of talked about that a little bit. People say, you know, people that don't understand homeschooling think, oh, homeschoolers can't go to college. Well, that is not at all. Go to college. And Coastal is a great place to uh, start out, like you say, especially when you're homeschooled and you're in sm even smaller classes and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Coastal is a good uh, stepping, stepping stone to go on to uh, bigger things, depending on what mm -hmm. your child wants to do. Yeah, definitely. And then if anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out to me. This is my job. This is what I do. I love my job. I love being able to help people reach their goals. Um, so if you'll, yeah, throw my email in the comments. Um, I'll be happy to get with anyone. We can walk through the process of either applying to, to Coastal as a college student or applying for the accelerated program. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Ashley, for taking time to speak with us. And um, hope you have a great rest of your weekend. All right. Thanks, y'all, too.